In this video, we'll go over the requirements and process of installing and accessing the Toshiba Canvio Personal Cloud Storage Device. Let's start by going over the contents of your Canvio Personal Clouds box. You should have the Canvio Personal Cloud Storage Device, one network cable for connecting the Canvio storage device to your network, one AC power adapter. Note, the AC power adapter comes with the connecting prongs as a separate piece from the adapter and must be assembled before it can be used. One CD containing the Canvio Home Installer software, user's manual, and warranty information. And one printed quick start guide. Now that we have opened the box and confirmed its contents, we can start the installation process. Begin by connecting your Canvio personal cloud device to the network. Using the network cable provided with the device, connect one end to your network and the other end to the Canvio storage device. Next, connect power to your Canvio storage device. The device has no on-off switch, so once you've connected one end of the AC power adapter to the unit and the other end to a working wall socket, the unit will power on and begin the boot process. Note that this process may take several minutes. When the LEDs on the front of the device quit flashing and only one remains lit, the boot process is complete. Software installation should begin only after the boot process is completed. Now, make sure your computer is connected to the same network as your Canvio device. Insert the disk that came with your Canvio storage device into your computer. When prompted, select Install to begin the installation process that will install the Canvio Personal Cloud software. The Canvio CD launcher window will open. If it is not pre-selected, select Install Software from the options and click Continue. If you see this screen, click Yes to continue. A black window will open called the Command Prompt and will stay open during the install process, which may take several minutes. If you're prompted to install Microsoft.NET Framework 4.0, click the Install button to continue. When the .NET Framework is finished installing, the Canvio Personal Cloud Install Shield wizard will open and start to guide you through the installation process. Click the Next button to continue. Next, you'll be prompted to accept the Toshiba End User License Agreement. Choose I Accept the Terms and click Install. After the installation is complete, you'll be prompted to click Finish. You may also choose to have the Canvio Personal Cloud launch by placing a check mark in the displayed option. Go ahead and check Launch Canvio Personal Cloud. Then, click the Finish button to complete the installation. In some cases, a Windows security alert may display. If so, choose the desired permissions and click Allow Access. In this example, we chose to give access only to our private networks. At this point, you'll need to supply a username and password. You also have the option to rename your Canvio Personal Cloud device. This is the name that will appear on your network. Note, as with all usernames and passwords, it's a good idea to take a moment to write it down in a safe place for future reference. After entering your preferred username and password, click the Finish button. After the installation is finished, a video will automatically play describing some of the features of your Toshiba Canvio Cloud storage device. More importantly, the Canvio Cloud Home panel is up and running for you to begin using your device. Now that you've installed the necessary software and connected your Canvio Personal Cloud to your network, you'll want to ensure that you have the most current version of the software. Locate the Canvio Home panel, and you'll see in the lower right-hand corner an Update button. Go ahead and click the Update button to download software updates for your Canvio Personal Cloud. Now your Canvio Personal Cloud is ready to be used. For more information, visit support.toshiba.com.